Hi guys, welcome back to Tracy K Reacts. I'm Tracy K. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not doing a suggestion right now on this video. Um, I'm actually going to be checking out something I wanted to watch. Um, I've seen a little bit of it. So not long ago, I got a comment. I don't know if I should say this, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I got a comment and it was on um, a video I did that had Trump in it. Can I even say that? Should I say 45? Let's say 45. It had 45 in it. And um, the person commented and said, you lost me at I like Trump. Well, that was like one of the first things I said in the video. So I guess they didn't watch the rest of the video to see what my thoughts were. Um, which is a little sad, you know, you never know, we might have, you know, had some things in common, um, but that's kind of, that's kind of where we at, right, where, the, where we are at right now in society. Um, we don't listen to each other, we don't care to listen to each other, we say one thing and, you know, we don't want to hear the rest, like, I mean, it's kind of sad, so... In honor of that comment, I'm going to be checking out Trump's, sorry, 45's ad. <laughs> That's kind of pet. Is that petty? Am I being petty? No, I'm not. I've been wanting to watch this. Um, and I kind of put it off because of that comment. Because I was like, like, why? Why do y'all have to, why you gotta hate? Why you gotta hate? Like, just because I support someone? Ugh. But it's like I replied back, you know, hey, we're all allowed to like who we like and have our own opinions, you know? And I was I was nice about it. I was like, you know, thanks. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for the view. Um, but I'm going to rub it in a little bit. And we're going to watch this. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am in that mood right now. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, like I said, I've seen just a little bit of this, and I'm excited about watching the rest of it. Um, full screen. All right, I think I'm over enough. And play. We are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has the highest inflation in over 40 years. Where the stock market just finished the worst first half of a year in more than five decades. We are a nation that has the highest energy cost in its history, and we are no longer energy independent or energy dominant, which we were just two short years ago. And I don't want to hear anything about, oh, it's the Russian-Ukraine issue. It's not. That is not why, that, that is not the gas price problem or energy problem. It's not. Don't fall into that little trap. Don't. Just don't. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for oil. Let's talk about that. You know why we're doing it? Okay, so we have a reserve. We have an oil reserve for our country. And we are only supposed to really touch it during like times of war we actually really need it um yeah our wonderful current uh number 46 he just he he is depleting our reserves and they're not it's not going to us i mean maybe a little bit of it 
He was selling it to other other countries. But then he's going to turn around and go to places like Saudi Arabia and beg for oil? Oh. I can't. Just please, please. If you know why that makes sense down in the comments, I would I would love I'd love to hear it. Maybe you can you can help me figure it out. I don't know. Is begging Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for oil. We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment in the world. We are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've never seen anything like this. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is about all you get. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant like never before, where the economy has been collapsing, where more people died of COVID in 2021 than in 2020. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon and China to use the trillions and trillions of dollars it's taken from the United States to build a military to rival our own. We are a nation that over the past two years is no longer respected or listened to all around the world. I don't even know where to start. I mean, just everything he is saying. Where's the law? Seriously. I'm going to start tearing up. This is sad. It's actually sad. Um, yeah. We, don't, we, we have no respect. We've, we've lost all of it. We are weak. We look very weak right now. Um, and it's very sad because I know. I get it. People always talk about, I guess, how Americans, we, you know, we're just so prideful and think we're, you know, the it or whatever. Um... <laughs> But, in honesty, I mean, it's like, it's like Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? When shit hits the fan, who you gonna call? Do you call France? No. Uh, do you call Canada? Mm -mm. No. So, you can say what you want, but usually we are the big dogs in the fight. So... Um, it's just really sad that now we're just, we have just, we're depleted. Um, and other countries see that, they know that. I mean, just take, for example, the whole Russia-Ukraine thing, right? Um, when 45 was in office, oh, he's going to start World War Three, right? Nothing happened. Nothing. I think it's because people didn't know how to take him. I think, um, I think he, he kind of worried or scared people a little bit. They weren't sure, um, you know, if he was a pushover or not. So they didn't take chances. And then you get someone like 46 in there. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just like taking candy from a baby. Like, that's so easy. So easy to run over him. It's really sad. And it, you know, him being weak in terms makes, you know, it, it makes us look weak. So, um, but yeah, where's the lie? Where's the lie? He, he, he touched on so much. This is a great speech, y'all. This is really, really, really good. Two years is no longer respected or listened to all around the world. And we are a nation that is hostile to liberty and freedom and faith. We are a nation whose economy is floundering, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the bottom of every list. Mm -hmm. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. 
But soon we will have greatness again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. There is well. no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. There is no challenge we cannot beat. There is no victory we cannot have. We will not bend. We will not break. We will not yield ever, ever, ever. We will never give in, we will never give up, and we will never, ever back down. We will never let you down. As long as we are confident and you know, the tyrants we are fighting do not stand even a little chance. Because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and God alone. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again. The best is yet to come. President Donald J. Trump. I said it. I said it. I said his whole name. I'm going to get banned. Aren't I? Oh my gosh. I'm going to get banned. Um, that was great. I'm like tearing up right now. Um, you know, that was actually really hopeful at the end. Um... <laughs> After you went through all the bullshit of what's wrong. Um, yeah, it was really hopeful at the end. That was nice. That was probably one of the best speeches. That's probably the best speech I have ever heard from him. Wow. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. I mean, even if you don't like the guy. And you know. There's just... I mean, you didn't really hear anything really, wasn't really a lie in there. I mean, anyways, um, yeah, I really liked it. Tell me what y'all thought. I love you guys. Thank y'all for coming in, hanging out. Um, I'd really like your opinion on it, actually. I really would. Whether you agree with him or not. Um... And, no, I'm not going to, like, call you out in another video like I did in this one. Okay, y'all, seriously, the reason why I did in this one is because, I mean, that's a that's kind of a little, it's kind of a little mean just to be like, huh, you lost me at, when you said you liked Trump, like, couldn't you have just watched the whole video and given me, you know, given your opinion on it? Like, that's my thing is, if you have an opinion, that's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear, oh, well, I'm done with you. I don't want to listen to you anymore because this. No. Give, give me a reason. Give me an actual reason. Don't just say something like that, you know? All right, you guys. I love y'all. Y'all take care. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.